I've wanted a sliding T-bill or an angle finder for quite some time and I thought, why not just make one? How difficult could it be? I decided to use a piece of shamfuti off-cut I had and a bit of milkwood that I'd harvested some time ago. I found a piece of brass off-cut at a local dealer for next to nothing. I looked around for different sizes of tea bevels. Um, and I must say, looking back, I should have probably made this one a little bit narrower. After rough cutting the parts, I just stuck them together with a bit of carpet tape so I could get the round over going. I made a disc sander that works on my lathe a while back and man am I glad I did that. This thing sands like a beast. With the roughing part done, it's off to the router to create the recesses for the brass. I chose 3mm brass because I thought it would be nice and stiff for the blade. But on the scales it did turn out to be a bit heavy. Maybe I should use a bit of 1mm next time. This cheese wood has got a crazy grain, it's just all over the place. But I used the plane to, to get the back straight at least, and the front, well, we'll deal with the front in a little while. A quick trip to the bandsaw, some fitting, some 5 minute epoxy, and we've got our inlays. Time for the brass, so I chucked the old blade on the bandsaw, which made quick work of it. I only rough cut to begin with, I'll uh, sand these down to fit with the blade later. Like I said, this grain is just crazy. A file, a sander, a card scraper, it just tore and tore. I'm not sure why T-bevels traditionally have a 45 degree angle at the end. I looked around on the internet and couldn't really find an answer. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I searched high and low for a nice thumb screw and hardware for this T-bevel but I came up empty. Aside from taking apart antique tools, I simply couldn't find a nice hardware for this T-bevel. So I just had to use some brass screws and wing nuts that I found at a local dealer. Hopefully I'll be able to replace them at some stage in the future. Getting close to the end and time to get everything nice and shiny. I decided to just use some spray lacquer from the tea bevel and as you can see, I didn't cover the brass. All that buffing gone with the wind. But the little bit of thinners made quick work of cleaning the brass. I didn't machine a groove in the blade because I wanted to wait and see if I could find any better hardware. Uh, once that happens, I'll make a new groove to fit the screw. Thanks for watching, and remember, hit those subscribe, share, and like buttons. Jimmy was a wicked fan, and Timmy's dropping out, and all the other little things that I was thinking about.